from Dragon Quest. But that aside, it is from Cruncho. He's going to be sticking with the hero. Handyman, of course, with his preferred croc of choice, King K. Rule. Look at how beautiful this is, by the way. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, the music being pretty good is excellent as well. Handyman, of course, looking to avoid being that big target that he is in the face of some of these spells from Cruncho. That zap, just going to clunk with a cannonball, gets that berry as well. Good sweet spot. Although that fair already putting a dent in his armor. Cruncho, you know, both characters at about 50%. Cruncho now at about 70 but again, this is encouraging. Good Kafriz on Handyman. And just when he was trying to recover that crown, that's when I know where you're going to be. And even from out of distance, just goes for the dash attack. Although that armor looking very cracked. Up throw coming out. It's another throw, and this time the down throw gets the kill off of it. Very nice. Uh, didn't use all or nearly all of his MP. Interestingly enough, that up throw will take him to the top platform. Has to be careful about the armor at this point. Just takes that opportunity to not only charge up the neutral B, but also to use a psych up as well. Good tech coming out from Cruncho. Back air. And I'm not quite sure what that counter was uh, as he turns on the accelerado. And uh, Cruncho already uses a character in Hero that isn't particularly prone to going off stage with as many charge options as he has, even though the down air does spike. So perhaps, you know, covering his recovery with a counter not necessary as we see. And being just thrown to metal, and you can try to see him just time that metal as he does to perfection. His handyman, the down smash, a bit early, but that forward smash just in time. And now handyman is up three stocks to one. Interesting if this will, you know, dissuade Cruncho from perhaps going to his main that he had yesterday. But that flare will bring this to a manageable one stock deficit just out of range of that F tilt from Handyman. Uh, camp the croc on the platforms. Trap him as well when he does approach. Well spaced falling fair and that dash attack just out of range is Cruncho going to follow up on it with uh, perhaps a spell or some of his aerials despite being very strong aren't fastest, so that up tilt will reach through the platform. Fair. One fair. One. Good patience from Handyman. Thought about countering it, perhaps, for a second, but just realizing shield is a lot easier. Down smash just not going to do it this time. It charges up that flame spell. That counter not the play. Did look to reflect uh, that one, so. You know, Handyman is going to be trying that if Cruncho is going to be sticking with the hero. Although Handyman is approaching Hope Attempt, and we see that lustrous green light in the back, and look at how beautiful that is. Reflects it back this time, that looked like the frizzle. That up tilt is going to meet him as he looks to fall back through the stage. 152% and counting. Just well spaced ahead of what looked to be potentially the end for Cruncho if he got hit by that bear. But no matter. Get buried off of that down throw and not quite going to kill. But with this little percent, this little MP just falls right right into that gun and Excellent uh, learning on the fly from Handyman of a matchup he's undoubtedly unfamiliar with. We see, uh, we saw the FD version of Yukidrazzle's altar a moment ago, but we're just going to be seeing it looks like the regular FD this time. Cruncher going back to the Joker he perhaps prefers. As you know, this is a character he is, even though he is DLC as well, he's had a couple of months to, you know, 
learn his, his playstyle with his character. And just the familiarity helps in any case. Good couple of down throw fares. And now Handyman is 50% unanswered and just got gimped by that gun as well. That was so, so well done by Cruncho. You know, after playing a character with whom he was not edge guarding as much with, all of a sudden just showed no signs of slowing down. And now Joker utilizing some of that expert ground speed. Down throw to some of these aerials. Just didn't get the back air to cap it off, although K. Rule is going to be able to make it back with that strong recovery of his. Uh, K. Rule Copter does have that hitbox at the top of it, so Cruncho, you know, perhaps will be relying on that gun. Just edge guard at a safe distance. Arsene coming out for the first time, and the Egeon not doing it. Oh, just gets the tech again. As does Handyman. So the two of them just trading techs. Handyman living for a while this time. Just trying to remain off stage. Interesting that he decided not to just stop on the virtual platform to get rid of the rest of Arsene and kill them. Beating an egg on as a result of that decision. Good down throw from Cruncho. Already looking much better. This could be a three stock. It's both characters at 78%. Just doesn't get out of the way of that K. Roll Copter in time, but Cruncho, already back on stage, doesn't get the spot dodge timing exactly right, and that fair gets him with the up special, uh, not the up special, rather, the, um, that down throw with so many options you can just get out of it. And that Barry as well, Handyman, if he wants to make this comeback, he will have to be sweet spot for nearly everything at this point. And he just doesn't tech it as well, was not prepared at all for it, as Cruncho, you know, the first two times he's been edge guarding with the guns. And I'm sure Handyman was expecting, I'll just go back to the ledge before he can do that again, but if you're gonna short hop bear against the stage and get the stage fight, you know, that's a mix up that Handyman just wasn't prepared for. As we see 1-1 one, one going into game three, town and city it looks like. I like the decision from uh, Handyman to just go for the music counterpicks as well. That's been, you know, some say it's not effective, but to that I say, you know, it worked for Dynamite. Game three this time, it is 1-1, one, one, so we'll update the scoreboard in just a second. Town and City, a couple of mirrors will trade for the two of them. And now Cruncho already on the offensive. Down throw into that up up air. Doesn't get the grapple hook. Just facing the wrong way, but still a very strong start. The up tilt into that up air. Gets him with the grappling hook as well as the follow-up that doesn't kill, but every percent matters in that back air. You could tell Handyman is just so frustrated by some of these options. They're not allowing him to land for only a second. That dash attack, one of the first times he's been able to land that since Cruncho's made the switch to Joker, and that up tilt already putting him, this looks like a repeat of the first dog. Drag down up airs, he's been getting these consistent and impressive uh, down airs from Cruncho, or on Cruncho, and just gets him right out that grappling hook recovery, just out of range. It has range, does not have that much range. And he makes it back with the K roll copter. Spot dodges out of the way and gets him with a forward tilt as well. And he man just dashes back and forth, eats an AHA. Just out of range as well. Good Nair to approach back. And although with the AHA, his percent is going to be in the 130 and just didn't throw out that up for whatever reason. I think he, you know, just figured Cruncho would chase him throughout an aerial, but didn't leave enough space for his own recovery. As we see last stock, Arsene coming out. Egeon going to be eating more of this damage. Out of the way of that forward smash is Cruncho. He already comes back. Good fare. And he's just going to air dodge to the left. He makes it back, although he won't make it back this time. Arsene down air. That didn't get nerfed. Perhaps it should have. Uh, 
let us know in the Twitch chat. Uh, but never them. Nevertheless, it's so powerful against a character with as big a target as K. Rule provides, and we just used it 